Hi friends, welcome to HDL Lectures. My name is Hadir Mustafa and let us start the first lecture on Tally ERP 9. Okay, now in the first lecture we are going to study how to create a company in Tally. For this, at first you have to open the Tally and when you open the Tally you can see this window this window you can see here you can see uh, the window has been divided into two parts the left side shows the current period current date list of selected companies name of company date of last entry okay if you have selected any company then that company name will be shown here and the last entry in that company will be the date of entry will be shown here okay that we will look into the uh, in the next lectures in this lecture we are going to study how to create a company for this you can see in the right side when you open the tally for the first time you can see this window and this window you can see that this is company info this you can see the company info in this company info there are some options like select a company login as remote user create company ba uh, backup restore quit okay so from this if you want to uh, select company is something used when you want to open a company which you have already created but as of now i don't have created i have not created any company so i want to create a new company let us see how you can do that for this you have to go to the third option create company before that let me make you clear if you are uh, using a mouse while using tally it will take a big time for you to complete the task so tally have given you a simple method wherever you want to go the tally has given you some uh, short keys like in the selected company you can see that here s is marked as red or it is bold you can see in the next one l is bold c is bold b is bold r is bold q, q is bold so if you do that if you just click that c then you will be going to the create company option or you can go to the particular requirement and you can press enter also that is also not an issue but if you want to uh, if from the select company itself you are being in select company option if you click just c i am just clicking c when i click c my company creation tab is open or I can open it in another way like I can just uh, come to the create company and just click enter also I will get the same option okay this is the first thing you have to know now we are going to create a company in the first you can see that it is a directory directory means whenever you create a company it will be going in default to the tally erp folder c drive users public tally erp data and when you open the create company this option is not automatically is automatically filled okay you don't have to change it if you don't want to change the location but if you want to change the location you can just click the backspace or you can just click on the mouse and double click also it is uh, sufficient uh, if you want to change the location then you can give the location path here currently I'm not going to change the location path so let us keep this company itself and I'm going to create my company my company name is HDL lectures
limited that's my company name then I click enter when I click enter it is asking me is the same your mailing name mailing name means if you are sending an email or if you are using any uh, mailing facility then you can use another name instead of HDL lectures suppose I want to use just HDL only then I can just edit it uh, this mailing name will defaultly come the same name as you have entered in the name option the name option will be automatically bought here if you want to change you can change here otherwise you can keep it the same and just you can enter then when you click on the enter next button is your address your address you can give any address uh, I am giving my address as I am from let me uh, think I am from Noida UK so you uh, UP or Delhi okay Noida New Delhi okay uh, that's it now you can just click the uh, you if you want to change the country you can change uh, since we are in India you can uh, use the country as India and if you change the state you can change uh, let me see is there Delhi Delhi is there Delhi is selected uh, I don't know what is the pin Let's say this is it. Okay, then you can give your mobile number, uh, phone number, everything, fax number, email address if you have, the website if you have, all this you can give here. Then uh, if you press enter, you will come to the next option that is books and financial year details. See, the financial year begins from, you know that, uh, in India, basically we follow the financial year which is starting from April to March but this may not be the same in case of other uh, parties uh, other countries so there may be change in the financial year but as of now for us it is just a financial year it is starting from April itself so I am giving the same the books beginning from see the logic behind giving this option is that the financial year is same for every company that is from April to March okay but you may not be in existent at April May June you just started your business on October 1st October so you can give that date here October okay so the logic behind this is the financial year may be different and the starting of the book a can also be different that's it so uh, if you enter any date before October then you uh, it will not get entered that is the logic so uh, you don't have you will not be wrongly entering any date before the starting of the book that's it now uh, the security control security control if you want to uh, change uh, if you want any password protection then you can give this here then whenever you open the same company it will always ask you to enter the password so if you want any security for the data you have entered you can use it currently I'm not giving it we'll do another uh, lecture for just for security control the next one is base currency information base currency information in that you know that in India our base currency symbol is rupee right so this is our symbol let me see uh, let me change let me change the country let me change the country to UK okay see here currently India we have selected so it is rupees let me change it to UK then you can see that it has been changed from uh, rupee to pounds okay so the currency will be automatically changing with the change in the country with the change that you have given to the country okay that's it let me give once again Delhi
whatever okay then now rupee rupee formal name you will give uh, inr and you use and suffix simple to amount you know that suffix and prefix right suffix means uh, after after the amount you want the rupee simple then you can give it yes uh, if it is before uh, that is prefix you want uh, the rupee symbol you want it before the amount then you can give it no otherwise you can give it yes okay so it's based on your requirement the next one add space between amount and symbol see when you are writing an amount when you are maintaining an amount if you want uh, any difference distance between the symbol and the amount then you can give otherwise it will be looking as the same words or uh, there will not be any uh, distance so sometimes you may not understand some uh, amounts and also it is better to give space when you are giving uh, the symbol uh, and amount now show amount in millions see basically in india we don't use the million concept million trillion billion and this concept we are not using we are using lakhs crores thousands okay so there is some uh, if the tally is not just made for indians but it is uh, for international market also so sometimes we have to use the uh, millions in concept also other way. and one more thing is that the uh, tally has been used by many multinational companies uh, working in india so they can also easily understand this concept okay uh, that's it now if you want to change your uh, default it will be no that means you will be using lakhs and crores yeah, basically but if you want to change it as a million and trillion then the amount uh, commas and all this will be varying according to the millions and trillions concept okay next one is number of decimal places number of decimal places uh, if you are maintaining the paise 50 paise 75 paise everything if you are maintaining then you can give it otherwise it will be rounded rounded uh, no no decimal figures will be accepted when you are writing when you are entering any data in the tally so currently if you are uh, basically in india we are using the decimal simple uh, for two places right two place decimal simple we are using so that can be given to and the word that you give for the decimal is paise right one rupee uh, paise everything uh, you will be giving right 0 0.9999 paise that you see okay so in like that you can use the name paise or you can change it to other whatever you can give your name also it's not a problem but it is paise next one is number of decimal places for amount in words see when you uh, raise an invoice at below it will be giving the amount in words also in that words also you can give the paise that uh, 1900 rupees and 50 paise it can be written like that in some invoices if you want the paise number of decimal place for amount in words then that also you can give here whatever the price you have given here you can give here also uh, that is a good practice okay after entering this you can press enter then it is asking you either accept or not if you are accepting then this company is created if you are not accepting then this company creation will be cancelled so i am now, uh, now accepting this one let me click yes why you can use either why or enter for accepting then my company is created now you can see the same window when we have entered the two parts here you can see the current period Current period is uh, 1st April 2020 to 31st March. The financial year that you have selected is given here. And current date, the current date is also given Thursday, 1st October is my day. Okay. Uh, uh, what is this current date? This is the book date, you know. Uh, that book date I have given. Uh, you remember that, right? I have given the book date as 1st October. That is why it is given the current date as october 20 so i cannot write any entry before this date okay uh, then next one is list of selected company name of company 
date of last entry in the name of company you can see the company which i have created and the date of last entry there is no voucher entered currently so if you enter any voucher then the date will be shown here now in the right side you can see before it was a small options tab that was company info that company info is not here now instead of that we have another tab that is gateway of tally in the gateway of tally we have many options that we will discuss in the uh, coming lectures but if you want to change anything anything that you have entered in the created company or if you want to create any new company then from where you can do this so for that you have to get the company info tab once again right so in order to get the company info tab you can see in the extreme right side there are some options these options you can see that f3 and a single underline there it's written company info just select that from there you can see the same option that we have used before select a company uh, create company if you want to create new company you can just click here and you can select once again and if you want to alter the existing company that means you have already done HDL lectures if you want to alter then you can go to the alter option select the company and you can change the date and everything if I want to change the date it on 1st April 2020 then I can give it it will be lost okay okay I can give it then I have given and it's changed okay so in this way you can create a company in tally thank you friends thanks for watching if you like my video please share and subscribe to my channel and if you want to get the new videos on tally and other related topics then you can click on the bell icon and if you really like my video then please don't forget to press the like button thank you thanks for watching